time. Um, yeah. I'm also a big 808s guy. I really like 808s. I really like 808 as well. Mm hmm. Like, I admit, like, all the old Kanye stuff, like, I feel like that's, like, my least favorite, but it still hits pretty fucking hard. Mm hmm. Good when you're down bad. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, because, and, um,. Well, okay, on that note, I'm gonna go to bed. Honestly, <laughs> I like good night, oh, Devis. Alright, tell me this room. Bye bye. Good night, Devis. Yeah, late registration, I think, might be my second favorite, like, old Kanye album. Okay, or, that Kanye makes album, sense, yeah. In general, yeah. I, late registration is probably the Kanye album I have, like, the least experience with. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I know College Dropout is uh, pretty, pretty darn good too. College Dropout is very good. But... Yeah. Is anyone out there? I... I need some help in here. You know what is a really good song by Kanye? What is it? Moon. Moon. Yeah. No, Kanye West with. Oh, that's yeah, with that. Oh yeah, that's probably why. I don't remember it. It's with a uh, Kid Cudi. Um. Don Tolliver. Speaking of Kid Cudi, Kid See Ghost was pretty good. I liked Man on the Moon. That album was fantastic. That was a- it did have a lot of good songs on it, I yeah. agree. Day and night, the lonely stone is- Yeah, no, I even- I know that song. That's like one of his- that's like, like his most popular song. I love that song. That I got like tired of it from it listening to it like so a, much. Oh, I'm I, not the biggest fan of that song, maybe because like the, the day and night part just sounds- like, so tiring oh. to me, like, I hear it so often. Soundtrack to my life was so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoes that nobody can see. And all of these emotions are pouring out of me. I bring you to the show you this is the soundtrack to my life. Oh, fucking Solo Dolo, that one was really good. Fucking oh my world! That oh my god! I'm definitely not like the biggest Kid Cudi fan, but that's yeah. just because I haven't listened to like uh, anything besides his like most famous album and also his most it, like literally his most favorite song. Famous song. In my mind, yeah. that one was another really good one. <laughs> I like eggs at a 2636. What do you think of Jake This guy's Cole? a freak! <laughs> what? Wow. What do you think of Jake Cole? Jake Cole. Mmm. I think he's hit or miss. Mm hmm. I, I, I think that's like my best way of describing Jake Cole. I, I can see why a lot of people like Jake Cole. Like, his vibe is definitely good, but like. Like, because he does give like a chill sense of like rap vibe. Yeah. And like I, I do like that sense of him, but I feel like sometimes like that set that jet chill vibe just gets a really boring and drawn out. Like uh, I like when he like, like some of the songs like uh, motivate, right? That's a very fucking good song. Mm, yeah, I fucking love that song. I like his. Uh... Shares like a lot, like uh, with Twenty One Savage. That was fucking amazing. Wait, Wait which song? A lot, like by. It's oh by yeah, yeah, yeah. Players. Yeah, I, I have, I have that song in my playlist. It's a really yeah, good same. song. No, you fucking Jake, Jake Cole just like took off on an album like it was nothing. Jake Cole, if he's on a song with like a feature, he's usually the one that eats the whole song. Like he, he takes oh, over. Yeah, like, like no joke. Like that, that that's just a fact. But like. Mm -hmm. I, but he's one of those that he really needs an artist to like actually have like to like make his songs more interesting and that makes sense. Like just enough uh, or just you know co-op like you know co and cooperate. Yeah. I think like I I was like a big fan of uh 2014 Forest Hills Drive. That's a really yeah, good album. Yeah. There's a lot of good songs on it. Probably his best solo it's definitely his best solo project. Oh yeah, for sure. Like Born Center is also a good album too. Yep. That was really good. Oh my god, that was 
another rap you like listen I said, to. I mean, you know another? Like just, I just thought of another really good uh, Kanye yeah. song. Um, <laughs> Slow Jams with uh, Jamie Foxx. Oh, Bob yeah, that's a really Chris good Pro. song. Oh, it's so good. I love that song, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Gold Digger's pretty good as well, and so is All Falls Down. Oh yeah, Gold Digger's like a classic, like... No More Parties in L.A. is fucking insane. I love that fucking song. Was it my favorite Kanye song? Is, um... Was it Champion? I think that's what it's called, though. Oh yeah, Champion's a really good song. It's like the second song in, like, uh, Graduation. Graduation, yeah. Yeah, Champion, I think that's... Just got back yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a very fucking good song. Like, dude, fucking stuck off. Kanye, I mean, that album just has, like, banger after banger. It's actually, like, it's Homecoming, a... like, yeah. fucking Flashing Lights, uh, I luck. Wonder, good life. Stronger. Very, very, uh... Very Bonds. Very Bonds, yeah. And, like, like I think, like, there, there's just no bad song in that album. Yeah. It's even when people say it's overrated, but I think, like, you know, it's just so fucking iconic of the album. Oh, yeah. You know who's also a really good rapper? Twista. I have never Oh, yeah. That. Twista's, like, he's, like, uh, just, like, a really, he's, like, one of those guys that, that specializes in the fast rap. Yeah, kind of like, like Crazy Bone. Really fat. It's like kind of like, uh, or like Eminem, I guess, would be like another one. He can like, yeah. like in like his faster flows, I guess. Speaking of, I was actually gonna ask about Eminem because like he, I feel like there's a lot of mixed opinions on Eminem okay, nowadays. I'm not the biggest fan of Eminem. Maybe it's because I like the newer stuff, personally. But so I maybe mm -hmm. maybe I'm a bit more biased towards that. But like he does have some songs. I can see why people like him though. I am very biased towards Eminem. I'm a huge Eminem fan. <laughs> Fuck you, goat. He's a god. I like Godzilla. I like Lucky You. I like a lot of it's good. Uh, New York shit is really good. Or like it's like yeah, it's like good, but it's like also I don't know. Some people like think he's like kind of just going after rappers for like no reason and like whatever, you know? Kind of like uh. Like MGK. I think it's more. He grew up in. He grew up in an era where, like, if your lyricism wasn't to the top of the fucking game, you couldn't make it in the game. Oh there yeah, was no easily. Question about it. Whereas yeah, oh, nowadays, yeah. like, nowadays we're living as like a. As long as you create a sound that people can vibe to, then that's all you need to do. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. Like, we're just living like, like a rapping there, rap era. You know what I mean? Wasn't it Kanye yeah. West that also did that one stupid song? Uh, what was that? Lift yourself or whatever with the whole. Oh, uh, I actually like that song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, poopity scoop or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually unironically like memed it to hell with the beats. Yeah. And like, what the fuck? People genuinely like it. The word the the now is nothing. We have today we to strive for. Oh. You know what's a real like another one of my personal favorite Kanye songs is uh Drive Slow. Mm. Wait, uh, I mean, wait, what album is that on again? Uh, Late Registration. Oh, okay. okay That's probably why I don't know it that well. There's one artist that I listened to back in, like, the um, late 90s into the very early 2000s. He did rap, but he was mostly, like, in the rock genre. Um, Shaggy. I don't know if you know. Oh, Shaggy, yeah. Shout out to yeah. Shaggy. Yeah. Uh, fucking, what's that song called? Uh, it Wasn't Me? Yeah. yeah that's a fucking good song. Yeah. Iconic. Oh, what's it? I should have my horizons. It tastes a little bit of just like mock, like, yeah, fixed recommendations. Eggs is fucking moving, by the way. I'm just gonna, like, Eggs could 25 this round. Wait, for real? Yeah, <laughs> not kidding. He's 22, 22 out of Meteor Herb. He's fucking moving, dude. Yeah, he could 25, yeah. How far out is your PV, brother? Yeah, like a 26. It's 2636. Oh, yeah, he beats that. Yeah, sure. no, he, he 100% beats that out of this meteor if he doesn't hold from here. Yeah, it, it's just like the last thing he has to do is just like the last major hurdle, just CGSS, I feel. Because like FR skip, I don't know. CGSS and FR. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't expect him to mess up FR skip. It's just, yeah, it's just like don't have a CGSS meltdown. And even then, I'm looking at this pace, you'll have at least one or two tries. 
Okay. Yeah, at least one really or two. Good then. Looking at this pace, like again, oh, twenty-two, oh twenty-two, God. out of like you can expect like three, like three minutes to like anywhere in between like two fifty-five to like three fifteen in terms of like discrepancy between runners from media to the end. It's like about like three-ish minutes yeah. to the end. Point. So like yeah, like twenty-two, twenty-two. That's like one hundred percent mid twenty-five of if he plays this well enough. And I mean, sure, yeah. he's been kind of moving. I'm gonna be honest, like. It's just like, you know, like you said, CGSS is like the last major hurdle. Yeah, just, yeah, say, just don't have the CGSS like, meltdown. It's like really easy. Yeah. Like not messed up. At least for someone like Kev. Like, I know it's like the new runners, so they'll, they'll find a hurdle, but. Dude, what is it? Dude, PB? I mean, it's 2636. Holy shit. Yeah, and so this is yeah. like, like, he's like actually potentially able to PB by a minute. Like, straight up. <laughs> Imagine PB in a tournament setting, that's just fucking effective as fuck. Yeah, like, by, like, in a tournament setting, by, like, almost a minute. Oh, no, he died. Yeah, that yeah. was, that was rough. I remember uh, this is why I don't want to learn CGSS, because I already have Final that. Rush to worry about. No, just yeah. learn, just okay, learn do you, the Deku just... method. It's impossible I mean, to mess dude, up. Dude, you actually don't even need the Deku method. Just do free camp box cover. But you, like, yeah. either way, just do what you're comfortable with. Yeah, no, like, just, I'd really. say just like, work with one skip at a time. That makes yeah. Sense. Is that yeah, good work, enough? I agree with Theox, yeah. Like, work at one at a time, and when you're comfortable with the one, then you move on to the next. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because like, like, like speedrun should be like a process, not like, you know. Oh my god, Mikey got Ligma. Big rush. Oh, dude. Big Mikey, no. Oh no. But yeah, no, so this is uh, 100% certifiable, 25-able. Certified. Another With the CGSS death, because it was a, it was a it was a slow first try CGSS attempt. So now this is like high twenty five because of that. You're doing this manip? Oh no, it didn't Wait, hit. So. Oh, yeah, no. were you like? Oh, oh god. My. Oh no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh it's fine. thank god. You're playing a dangerous game. Oh my god, I can't believe you does that manip. You're free. <laughs> All right, here we go. Also surprised the bomb didn't hit. I thought that was kind of crazy. Old song I listened to back in the 90s. It was like a one-off. I don't know about this. Um, this is an old song called Hip Hop Parade by Naughty by Nature. It was really good at the time. Okay, I'm turning on stream. Like that, that's straight up a song for my childhood. How hard is Bopa? It's not hard. It does take it's a little, time. it's a little. I think it, it, it can be a little tricky when you're tricky. first learning. Yeah, yeah, it can be tricky, but when you get it, you got it. Oh, Especially like second bounces. try onward, because second try onward is far easier than like the Quan, and so like also like remember that. Um, it's just like, they are a little different in uh, how you do them. But people mm -hmm. say that Bopa and like FRC are the two easiest to learn hero story. Yeah. Okay. That's like the difference between bounceless FR okay. skip and that would look doing cool. a bounce. Bounce is easy. More, you have more height. Yeah, you, you get more height, and you have hover frames to work with if you're if you like messed up and was moving too slow or too late on things. But like mm. the thing is, though, the bounces is that it's like you're airborne more, so it is a bit slower. Yeah. So it's a safer option. Yeah, but, yep. yeah, but bounce it bounce up bar is like it's a faster option because you're moving faster and like you're you typically end up a bit lower like when you see the tower. And not only that, but you don't have to worry about an invisible wall as much with the bounce up bar. Because you'll just pierce through it you typically. Dude, yeah. Yeah, but this is pretty fucking low. Is it possible to be sub 26? Oh yeah, it is. It oh is. yeah, this is only Shadow 2 left. It's only Shadow 2 left. Shadow 2 okay. takes like 16 seconds if you play it perfectly. Yeah. Damn, it'll be okay. less than a minute for a PB, but it'll still be a PB nonetheless. Yeah, no, like this is, he broke the minute barrier. Like that's, yeah, like he, he did it. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. That's, he timed that oh. last time. No, attack really early, I'm maybe real. That's but it? GG. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, what a gamer. <laughs> How many of y'all actually X. know the song No Diggity? I have never heard of it. Up to Me neither. You never. Wait. Show to get down, good low. Baby got him open all over town. Strictly bitch, you don't play around. 
By like 40, 50 seconds. <laughs> no, like I, I said eggs was kind of loot. I, I wasn't kidding. Yeah, I watch the run, so I'm like, holy shit. I'm a, I wasn't I'm, kidding, yeah. Like, I, I'm he, so he was, glad that you know that song, Liam. I know, I know. Hell yeah. Dr. Dre. These fries were gonna suck. They were actually they're actually really good for fries. Oh, yeah. well, the thing is, you think that fries, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you've never fucked with frozen beforehand. You know, you get that stuff in the middle where it's like it's properly all the way through. A lot of places are gonna get that. No, no sub phone. Sad. It's okay, I'm still Damn. in fantastic shape. I can't see the comparison because I got my splits fixed by purging them, but um, I know that, that was like a minute and a half faster yeah, than no, one so of my TVs. Like, like, <clears throat> what I've heard, he got like, but it just kept missing both for afterwards. Liam, yeah. have so, you listened to Yin Yang Twins? <laughs> a little bit, not much. Oh man, they're good. You got some good parts. <coughs> okay, let's not die on this. Wait, Eggs didn't... Okay, Eggs did actually have a PB that wasn't the 2636 that just wasn't submitted, apparently. Apparently it was just 20 it, apparently it was a 2606 was his actual PB. But he's so he's still PB. But he's still PB, yeah. Who the fuck typed me out? <laughs> Rolled. Who's the bitch that typed me out for a minute and a half for that? Oh. Wait, what did you post? No cutscenes good. I said I said he didn't ex he, he did an exceptionally good job. It followed up with a real oh, okay, yeah, no, you deserve it. The moment you said you got timed out, I'm thinking he made a pun, didn't he? Yeah, that probably makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fact that you Just, it literally does not matter if it's funny or not. Th this is just the way of the world when you make puns. People, like, people are required like, by law to groan at them, even if they're funny. Now, there are two people that respond. There are two different types of people. There are either the people who groan it, or there's the people who laugh at it. Yeah. Yes. You it's either genuinely it's enjoy it, or you others. hate it with a vitriolic passion. Oh, no, see, I groan, but I enjoy most of them. Groaning, groaning is a sign of a good pun. Ugh, I hate this stupid level. At least they're better than dad jokes. Uh, they are dad jokes. No, they're not. What makes a, what, what makes a joke a dad joke? What makes a joke a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. <laughs> Got it, I'm timing you out here too. Uh... No. No. Oh, I say, I ain't here for a while. I was chewing. 
Though I, if I was not currently in the middle of the funny dog game, I might. So you're lucky I'm busy playing a dog. The funny pupper. Let's go. Ah, never mind. I was about to be like, yeah, I made no mistakes. I made one mistake. I made two mistakes. It's okay, it was still pretty good. Who's the next race? Because me and Liam are not at the car. Don Papa Bear. Don Papa Bear, okay. I wish I could go on comms for that now. Who's commentating that match? Aliani. I love how they're on the worst possible cycle to imagine. Damn, this burger kind of tastes like nothing. What burger are you having? St. Louis? St. Louis Bar and Grill in America? Nope. I, I, I don't know if we have it or not, I just never heard of it. I basically ordered from there just so I can get beer from my man. But I had to get the food with it, so I got myself a burger at the fries, the fries are good. We're good to okay. But like, it's like nothing. <laughs> That's so toxic. Whatever. <laughs> it's like, what, 25 seconds? I hate this level. in the voiceless chat he has noticed I am playing the funny dog game let's go KPL big fan of KPL he's gonna play the funny dog game with me. is he yeah Damn. whenever he saw me playing he's like hey don't make me play don't make me run that game I was like I bet so last night we were going through how to play the funny dog game. I just died again in a really stupid spot too. That's fantastic. Whatever. This run is still good. I'm not going to die there a second time. I really did just stroll right on into the pit twice. Thanks, Depth Perception.
Spinning dog. Oh, there you are. With your sweet time. A little slow, but not that bad. Hi back. Acon. Never heard of Acon? No. Sounds Acon like a Ligma weird. joke. No, no, seriously. It's the <laughs> actual name of person. No, no, I, 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 I believed you, but it just, it does sound like a Ligma joke. Ending credits. Yes. Yeah. So he made that. Yes. Okay. The the remix of Sweet Dreams. Yeah. That was done by Akon. Wait. So who made that new Sonic Frontier song? Like, I don't know. Like the one. Uh, like, oh oh. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh, well, I think it's Okay One Rock or One Okay. Yeah. Rock. One Okay Rock. That's the one I was. Yeah. yeah. I think that song is actually really good. Like, it's different from the the one song stuff we normally we typically oh, yeah. hear. Analyze is fucking phenomenal. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, believe it or not, actually, that's not the first song that I found out about. Really, by, um, the one I found out about previously was actually through a secret rip, and it was called uh, "Never Scared." And it's actually another really good one. has been sort of branching out and introducing other artists and making this a of other people having to be fresh for you. Yeah, I know. Fresh for is iconic and all that. Yeah, fresh for is not giving me probably the most... I think fresh for is arguably the most iconic of artists like Sonic Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No doubt about it, they're the most iconic. I don't know who, if we take out Crush 40, who would it be then? Like, I think Tony Harnell? Honestly, you could argue, uh, probably June. 
on his own. Isn't he in Party Crush 40, though? He's he part is. of Crush 40, but he has been a music composer for Sega all the way back to, like, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, like, okay. Jun Sanella is, like, yeah, he's been around for a fucking minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay like, what I mean, like, if we just take Crush 40 out, I meant, like, I don't, I don't, I mean, like, we, we just take out the, the band, the band, the band, the band, the band that's a part of it as well, like. Well, then at that point, it really just boils down to the game. Because Am I gonna have enough snacks? You either have Michael Jackson or <laughs> Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Right. You then get either the Tony other. Arnold. Yeah, Tony Harnell for SA2 and for Heroes. And I said he did a little bit more than SA2 and Heroes. Yeah, no, yeah, he did Adventure, he did Adventure 2, um, and Heroes. He did Heroes yeah. And then he did reprise his uh, role in Generation. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or was that Ted Poley? Might be Ted Poley. It was either Ted Poley or Tony, Tony Harnell. Actually, no, I think Tony Harnell did. Um, I guess I'll whoop it. Uh, Lee Brotherton, aka Bentley Jones, he did some music for uh, several other games as well. He was pretty big for uh, Sonic games back then. He started off in 06. Uh, Magnify because of. All Hail Shadow for Shadow the Hedgehog, Zebrahead yeah. for 06. Zebrahead, yep. yeah, 06 for sure. Um, who's the guy that did the Knuckles raps? Or is there like more than one? Uh, Hunted yeah, there's Hunted P, P, but then there's also... Marlon uh, Marlon Saunders, did the, yeah, did the yeah. vocals. Won't and then there was the guy who's Parappa the Rapper that I'm forgetting the name of for Unknown From Me version 1. Yo, what is this RNG? This is actually so uh, sick. And then, of course, you also have Cash Cash, which is sort of like a modern day thing. Uh, oh, sick. and TJ Davis because of uh, Sonic R. I wonder if Nate wants to battle, would also classify as that. I don't know. No, I, I wouldn't say that. Nate's he a cover artist. Like a bunch of Sonic remixes. Wow. He just never made anything original like his own that's Sonic related. Yeah. He has made his own original ah, works, but no, no, most of like, the stuff that he's that's done That's Sonic is related. Yeah, I know, I said Sonic related. Yeah, that's a whole minute of time save. Like, he, like a lot of his songs are really good. Like, no, no fucking joke. Like, has he made anything like Sonic originally? Because I know he did an, like, an entire album of like Sonic re like, remakes. Like, re yeah, it was covers of Sonic songs from the franchise. Doesn't Nail and Salt mostly do like anime openings though, like freedom. He used to. Oh, he still does it to this day. I'm pretty he sure he still does, does like, it. TV, show, TV shows, anime, and oh, video games. Oh, I usually game have enough snacks. With, of course, he also makes a lot of his own music of himself. Yeah. Like fucking Monster Inside, that song's a fucking day. Yeah, he, has ma he does make his own music, but the thing that he's mostly known for is his covers. Oh yeah, his like anime covers mostly, yeah, that's what he's most known for in video games. I remember fucking. Oh, do I remember listening to his uh, Soul Leader cover? Oh, that was so good. 14. Let's his cover see. of Make My Story from My Hero Academia is really good. Never watched My Hero. The, just, even if you haven't watched it, the song that he did the cover for is really good. Oh, a little um. Uh huh. He also did the the cover of the original Pokemon theme song from the uh, Black and White remake. Oh yeah, hey KPL. Hey KPL. Goodbye KPL. Hi, KPL. Oh, hi, Hello KPL. KPL. Hi KPL. You know what's a fucking really good uh anime opening? What? The rumbling. You are in fact at work. From what's Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Um, season oh, four. Was... Uh, I've Paris never seen Attack on Titan, but I've heard a lot of good things. Uh, anime opening. I'm I'm kind of doing well in the the funny dog game. For those who have seen Parasite, um. Oh, that was clean. I have seen it. Yep, I recommend it. It's only like twenty okay, something, like twenty five episodes. Very fucking Maybe good. One Maybe one day I'll watch it. It's on. You bet I'm on a face. Okay. 
on it. I don't even have to grab these extra Look at KPL, a pace pal. It's true. Can't believe it. He is my pace pal. <laughs> he will be always my pace pal. Anime season right now is fucking hype. Yeah. Hey yo, shout outs to the sub one lab because I didn't have to grab snacks. I still really want to watch Five Families. I I need to finish One Piece, but I really One Piece takes a lot out of me. Lamau. On animes like that, like those are such huge commitments. Yeah. Okay. Or you can like. I guess you could like do take a break and yeah. then go back I to know, it. Like, there's I nothing know. wrong with that. Simple. All right, I listen. All right, no need. I want to be lazy, snacks. Superior. Let me be lazy. All right, let me use that as, as my excuse. Okay. Uh, All right, as long as Mastermind isn't horrible, this is like easy sub forty pace. It's, it's, there's there's one. I do take breaks, and I kind of forget like what happens like, in the previous episodes. Like, <laughs> if I had to recommend a good anime to watch, I would say. Watch a Gretzica. Uh, yeah, I had the exact amount because I actually sack like I actually just didn't grab some other snacks I would have grabbed. KPL. It's even greater too since because they're connected I already had enough. Ready, ready. The company that made Re uh, Gretzico, Sanrio, is the same company that made Hello Kitty, which had crossed over with Sega and things from Sonic Dash. And Sonic's current voice actor, Roger Craig Smith, mm, is also a voice no. actor in the show. Oh, yeah, I forgot. These guys are just wells of free HP. Oh, looks nice. Zam. Zam. The 37, no, maybe? Oh, Another 5 minute PB? I wish that were you can't keep getting away with this. Sonic Fight. Yeah, an well, arcade fighting game. Mm -mm. Oh, uh, did I strike your face? 37 is very unlikely. You said fighting game, and he's like, hey, uh, I'm here. Hey, uh. Uh, uh, here. Oh yeah, it's flat. If you'll just want to play any fighting game, I actually have a, a modded version of it that actually allows you to play as a uh, Metal Sonic, Eggman, Honey, um, Megalus, uh, Robotnik, and. Uh, Turbo Metal Sonic, Rocket Metal Sonic. Yeah. It's so stupid that they ported it over nice. to the Xbox 360 for like not a little Xbox close, Live, but but they never thought, hey, let's port this to PC through Steam so that way people who have Steam can play this online. Such a missed opportunity. No 37. What's the point? True. I got bad Mastermind RNG. Late night man. You drinking? Yeah, I'm drinking from the match. Look, gang, there he is. 